Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we're now on part 2 of Valencia where we're doing the grid block design. Now in the first part we established our city, fed our people, got up to 2000 population and started our exports of pottery and oil. And in this part we're gonna go on to just basically way increasing our population because we're going for 10,000 people and working towards luxury palaces. So let's go ahead and get this started. All right, welcome back to Caesar 3. We're having some food distribution issues, not food uh, eat uh, supply issues. So I'm gonna put down another market down this side, I think, because uh, we're just we're just not really feeding people all that well. So I think I'll just drop drop another market down that side, you know, because these markets tend to be a little low on food. Another market should help. It should help. Anyway. Our goals for this part, we just started our oil exports. So I'm trying to see if we're actually maxing out our oil exports. More military is on the way. So we can sell 25, 25 for olives and oil. Our military, we are getting our second fort down. How is our employment? Unemployment of 1%, okay. So I could go ahead and maybe just increase our olive production a little bit. Another... How do I want to do this? Another farm there. Another couple of workshops, maybe. Like, right. Just another couple of workshops. Just boost up the oil production a little bit. Make sure we maximize our sales on that. Because we are short on cash. Uh, our pottery sales should be maxing out, okay? Our fish sales are not, though. Do we, do we actually... We're actually not... We're actually a little low on fish, would you look at that? We're struggling to keep up with the fish supply. I might have to... Might have to... Expand my fish supply a bit. Huh. Anyway, how are the gods feeling? Happy? Good? That's fantastic. Now, if I wanted to increase my fish supply, I gotta take advantage of this area. Are we just feeding too many people? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Flizzy Duck, welcome to the stream. Finally catching the stream early. Still getting used to the daylight savings change. Yeah, that, that's confusing, isn't it? Now, where's... there's the trader. Oh, don't worry about that. We just went into debt, but we're going to be selling some more oil here and more olives. This should be okay, right? Perhaps I do need one more farm. Yeah, let's put down one more olives farm right there. There we go. So this is a pretty compact, nice little olive industry on the top. Once we get more money, we'll be able to expand some more. Uh, we can start supplying furniture, I guess. Let's just start using and trading that resource. Actually, we... we uh, well, I think we have too many houses here. Lost all basic educational facilities. We need more schools. Just have another school there to stabilize the school supply. Ah, the school children ran all over the place. Food... It's hard to tell if food is okay because we have so many markets. We have another market here. Yeah. Oh, these houses just evolved, right? Creating more room for more people. Let's quickly sell off this oil. There we go. Gets us a bit of cash. Sold seven. Yeah. So that's... Yeah, we definitely need more oil production. So we're evolving our houses up to medium insulas here, and they need library and oil, if I recall correctly. Shot by 23 employees. More people should be moving in. We can provide library access. We actually have four schools here, that's pretty... We have five schools here. <laughs> it might be a little overkill, yeah? Maybe just a bit? I'm not sure. Maybe we don't need this school here. Right, one, two, three, four schools. That should cover everything, it should. Grid plan? Yeah, we're going grid plan for, for this one. Oh, there we go, there's money. Okay, so just to make sure we are safe from invasions, because we don't have any more Mars Blessings, I'm going to put down another Javelin Fort to make sure we're okay. 
I think we should be okay on this oil production for the next sale. It is a new year. Is this still not getting education? Schools? None of the kids are running down that, that way. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, that school is not doing its job. What do we have here? Forum? Bathhouse? Two markets? Maybe if I just put a school here. Carthago Nova wants to trade more wine. Okay, we're trying to get by... Is that the one who... Oh no. That's the one who can sell us wine. Okay, so we don't really need that quite yet. Here comes, okay, so now, we, now we've got a ton of money. Now we've got a ton of money. So let's go ahead and expand our city. I think I'll continue building along this way. Uh, we, can we get more food here? I'm worried about supplying more food, uh, building more houses here. Really, is a school, how do I get? <laughs> uh, education schools really no kid is running down there not even this one right well that school's useless um, perhaps if I move this prefecture engineers post to there and put a school here maybe that will work maybe I don't know can, can we fix this please some kid run down that way please run down that way there we go, there we go. Okay, fantastic. We did it. Congratulations, everyone. We got school children to walk down a certain way. <laughs> Kids avoid bad streets, yeah. All right, here comes the next invasion. And a request for furniture. All right, that we do have plenty of furniture, so help yourself. Uh, I forgot to turn off or turn down my salary, so I'm just gonna do that. Uh, actually, just set it to zero. I always forget to do that. Uh, we're being invaded from there. Okay. Let's just send these guys over. All right, these guys move a little slower. Etruscan soldiers. We might be able to kite them a little bit. All right, we got plenty of money. So while that's going on, let's set up another another housing area here. How do I want to do this? I'm just going to clear off all of these trees. I'm going to clear off all of these trees. Make a nice area for things. And to maximize fishing, I will do a little bit of this. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to do this. Do that. Okay, we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just get a block right here. And we're gonna have a row of houses there, row of houses here, row of houses here. We're going to get wharfs down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna need a granary. which would be more efficient if I placed it here. Don't worry about that, we'll get to that. And we're gonna need prefecture, prefecture. I'm gonna get a lot of these. Engineer's post, engineer's post. Make sure nothing burns down or collapses. Are we killing sheep again? Ah, oh, poor sheep, look at that, we're just trampling them. Well, they're in the way. They're in the way. Sorry, sheep. We wiped out the whole herd. We wiped out the whole herd. Alright, let's deal with these guys. Where are these guys? Are they rushing forward? No, you don't. You are also gonna... 
let's deal with these guys. It's not too too big of a army. Let's kite these guys a little bit to maximize our effectiveness. And there we go. And they're running away, but they're not gonna escape through this. <laughs> Fantastic. Last guy? What's his name? Pegan... Peganus Hermalus. Do we get him? Do we get him? Come on, get him. Oh, he escapes. Peganus. Peganus escapes. All right. He gets out of there. Anyway, let, let's deal with this, yeah? We're gonna need a reservoir for sure. Uh, let's place one right there. <laughs> We're killing more. Ah, oh, the, the herd got in the way again. Uh, let's clear that out. We're gonna put another reservoir right here. Just to help cover everything. Fountains. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Right there. One, two, three, four. Right there. We're gonna need a fountain there and a fountain there as well. So we're gonna need a reservoir back here. Which we can just hook up with this. Carthago is willing to trade more pottery. Is that the one we're selling to? Yes, they now buy 40 a year. That's going to help our money immensely. All right, aqueduct. Hook this up. There we go. Now we're going to wait for uh, these boats to start bringing in all the necessary food, but we can go ahead and decorate this area a bit with medium statues. Medium statues. And some gardens. There we go. We also have money to plaza it up. Bam, there we go. If you guys want to use Zack Plaza in chat right now, go ahead. Because we love plazaing it up. Meanwhile, I actually want to plaza up this road. Might as well. Let's plaza up this whole road here as well. Just to help with desirability. Looks good. Looks good. I like it. This should help boost our population quite nicely as well, and this should actually provide quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of fish. I think we're doing okay in the fish supply here. I think all these markets are keeping stocked on food, so it should be okay. I won't put down more. I won't put down more housing here until we actually evolve everything. So for now, let's go library. Library, library, three libraries. That should, that should do. That should be good, okay? I'll deal with unemployment as well. Meanwhile, let's just pop down a few things here. Forums, we're gonna need bathhouse. We're gonna need a theater. We're gonna need an actor's colony. I guess there. Uh, we're gonna need an amphitheater. We're gonna need a gladiator school. There's no real good spots for these. Gladiator school there. We're going to need a doctor. We're going to need... Probably a couple schools, right? Couple schools. All right, there we go. That should get that jump started pretty quick. Food is starting to come in. Let's put down our first market, which we can place right here next to the granary. And we'll probably need another market right here. Let's get two markets going. Employees needed, how many? Ah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There's the Zach Plaza's in chat. <laughs> 
Maybe put a road around the back of the oil warehouse workshops to support more workshops. I could, I could, but we're already producing more than enough. Look at that. We're already producing enough, which is fine. Uh, how is our tax income, by the way? Uh, commerce, tax income... Oh, it's the new year. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. I need to import some... Uh, marbles. Food supply is actually still going up. I think it's okay. What else do we need here? Uh, I think it should be fine. Anything burning down? Anything being destroyed? I probably don't need this many engineers posts, but it's fine. Just in case. Just in case. Meanwhile, on the back of this, I should go... Grove Gardens. That looks good. Just for now. Are we feeding? Oh, right. We're gonna need temples. Let's go... A row of temples, I guess. Ceres. Neptune. Mercury. Mars. And Venus. That will keep the gods happy for this new block, which I think they're, they're getting displeased, so that will solve that problem. I could start uh, producing wine and selling it. Yeah, I could, but I'm gonna wait for now. There we go. All of these houses evolving. Ah, right. We do need... I just realized. We do need a little bit of a something here. How do I want to do this? I guess if I have a road coming out here... It'll be better if I connect this up. If I have a gatehouse here, it will actually keep this area more stable. We can go ahead and have... ...some houses right here. And we can have... ...this area. We're gonna need... ...two warehouses. One is... ...getting pottery. And one is getting furniture. There we go. Prefecture. Engineer's post. That will get this evolved further and there we go. 3,000 people. We're a third of the way to our target population. <laughs> Well, food supply here seems to be stabilizing, so how is our library access? Is everyone getting library access? Looks like it. I guess I can put down a library here as well. That will block... Hmm. Is there a gap there? There is a gap there, okay. We can put a library right there. Ah, there we go, feeding all of these things there. Enemies closing. We've got plenty of money, by the way. Let's just drop down another javelin fort, because we can. There we go. One, two, three, four of those. Oil supply is very good. We're gonna need a warehouse over on this side for the oil supply. Where do I put it? Perhaps I can cut back on furniture a bit, right? We don't need this much. Let's cut back on that. And just put a warehouse right here. Set to getting oil. That should bring in enough oil to supply this area. Okay. Uh, we could probably just set that up on this side as well while we're at it. Might as well. No point delaying it. And there we go. See, once the systems are all set up, you can very easily just set up a new housing area. Bam, there we go. Lots more people moving in. <laughs> ah, there we go. Food supply here has... It, we don't really generate enough surplus to sell, but... I guess it's okay. We could try squeezing a few more houses here. We'll add houses slowly to this side. 
because I think the markets... Some markets ran out of food, but... They're generally okay. Alright, all of these should be functioning now, yeah. I should probably set up a farming community next, right? <laughs> that, that would probably be good. What's a... Uh, 8% unemployment? Okay. These are all getting the necessary resources. Okay, so with 8% unemployment, we can go ahead and just start setting up the next area. I think we will go farming community next. Farming community? That doesn't look like a grid. Well, this one is slightly... Actually, since we do have a surplus of food, you know what? To keep with the, the grid, there we go. There we go. I know you guys will complain. Hidden Dead Game says it wasn't a grid. Honestly, he was correct. There we go. It's not as efficient, but we got surplus food anyway, so I don't need that fishing wall. <laughs> now it's more of a grid. Now I could connect this up, but I'd rather not have this area connected to that area. It'll just mess everything up. Now. Let's set up a farming community, shall we? Let's clear some of this space here. Keep it looking a bit not so straight there. Actually, this is a grid community, so we should might as well just embrace the grid. Uh, farms. We're gonna go for wheat. Actually, do we have two types of food? We could have this as a... Uh, Wheat vegetables. We can, actually. Who just died? I don't know who just died. Anyway, let's slow the game down. And... One, two, three, four, five. Farm vegetables. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have this looped around. And we'll just have this extend like this. We'll, we'll have a road doing this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Six by sixteen. And we could have another one here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Looks good. Uh, we could totally just have a road do this as well. Because why not? Um, for granary. We could go double granary. One for wheat, one for vegetables. Now, starting a second first feeding of a second type of food can be very difficult, so... You know, one, two, three. Maybe a few more farms here. Vegetables. One, two, three. So then we're gonna need row of houses, row of houses, row of houses. Row of houses. Row of houses. You know, to keep with the grid even more, this road should be here. Right? That makes sense? Row of houses. Okay, that looks good. Let's get all of that moved in. Fountains. Ah, oh, getting a... Reservoirs over here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That actually works. That covers everything. What was that? I just clicked on something. City in debt again. Oh, okay. I accidentally skipped that. That's fine. We'll make our money back very soon. It's just because everything's running on slow speed. Let's speed it up. Let's speed it up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get that down. Uh, prefectures. Uh, 
here and here. Employment will not be an issue on this map. <laughs> because we have so many people, we have 12% unemployment. 12%! Uh, your new housing block could be theoretically self-sufficient with its own pottery and furniture production. It totally could, uh, but I don't think we have to. There we go. They're now evolving. Plenty of fish in the sea, as you could say. Too little entertainment. Okay, th those should slowly start evolving further. Uh, there should be houses here, right? There we go. Okay. So everything's going along very quickly. Money's back in. Look at that. We're actually making tons of money. Here comes the next batch of things. Uh, let's go ahead and get the reservoir going, yeah? Let's get a reservoir down here. Have an aqueduct going up here. Have a little of a gap so troops can get through. Now. Let's make a bit of space here. Reservoir. There. Aqueduct. How far does that reach? Not far enough. We'll need one here as well, I think. Aqueduct. Hmm. We could be a little more efficient with this one. If I just shift the reservoir up to here, I think. It should hit those two? Yes, fantastic. So now it's just those two over there. Which, uh... Ah, oh, we can come from this side. So let's have a reservoir here. There we go. Reservoir access provided. We can get all of these starting to evolve. Fantastic. Some of these farms are starting to work. I'm just worried about anything burning down or falling apart. We gotta get those engineers going. <laughs> all right, all right. Ah. Now we wait for a bit of money so we can go ahead and get our decorations down. Just garden that up. Looks nice, fantastic. Okay, good. 13% unemployment? Okay, we, we can get everything going then. Series. Neptune. Can go here. Mercury. Mars. And Venus. That should provide nice religious coverage everywhere. Okay, good, good. Uh, what else do we need? Let's get down forums before we forget, because I always forget forums. So let's go one forum there, one forum there. Let's just put down schools while we're at it. We'll probably need a lot of schools, right? <laughs> Schools everywhere. Bath houses. Let's put that there. Let's put this. We need some space for services here. Okay. Doctor. We're gonna need at least one doctor here. Right at the end of that road there. Doctor right there. Theater. Let's clear some space here. Amphitheater can go there. And here. Probably another theater over here. And there. So we can have an actor colony. Yeah, 
Just act the colony there. Gladiator school. Right there. Yeah. This looks like a nice little block we've gone. <laughs> Grid block without gatehouses. This is how I had been playing Caesar 3 since the beginning. And I always failed at harder levels. Yeah. A reservoir's not reaching. So it is. <laughs> so it is. Um... I need to be a bit closer than that. Look at that, right? Is that close enough? There we go. Food is starting to come in. I guess we can now just drop all of those markets, right? Now, how do we want to put the markets? One, two, three, four, five, five markets. Get feeding two types of food for all of these places should be good. Uh, wheat is more... We should actually have more vegetable farms than wheat, right? There. Because wheat actually produces more food on this terrain than anything else. And also, let's go Fort Javelin. We can fit... Another one there. Let's keep that going. We don't need to get weapons on this, I think. We don't need to get weapons. Uh, you all were calling me out on that reservoir. <laughs> ah, but look at that. We've been going for half an hour, and within a half an hour, we've expanded to this area here and this area here. Look at that, with all the money and stuff coming in. Why is this supply of food, really? There's no supply of food coming down this way? Okay. Let's give them another market over here then. There we go. Get a supply of food going. Everything else looks okay as well. So, no a local access to a barber. Ah, I see. So we need to drop down like barber, 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 barber. We're gonna need some here as well. Barber. Let's just put two barbers down here. That should get these... I forgot they needed barbers to evolve. <laughs> there we go. Food is being distributed. The first feeding is gonna be a pain because there's so many houses that we're immediately evolving here. But that's fine. How's our employment? 12%. Ah, oh, jeez. You know what? Have a couple academies. Yeah? That should help with things. A couple academies. Yeah. Let's uh, clear that off then. Make some room. Yeah, we could give academy access down here as well. Have an academy. Why not? Food seems to be holding up, so let's just put in a few more houses, yeah? Too little entertainment. Okay. But there we go, we're racing to 5,000 people now. Fantastic. Uh, this needs some desirability stuff, so let's clear off some space there. Let's go row of gardens, row of gardens. Like that? Yes. Plaza this road for now, and let's not use all of our money. <laughs> Maybe a challenge for this mission should be make all self-sufficient areas for pottery and furniture. That's actually possible. But I don't think it's necessary. Our pottery supply is a little low though. You know what, let's just make sure we don't sell all of our pottery. Make sure we have a stockpile of 16 units everywhere. Yeah. I guess we could boost our pottery production a little bit.
Is there any gap into this? No, they're all entering from there. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, let's just boost up pottery production a little bit. There we go. So these are all now large insulas. Doesn't have access to a local bathhouse. <laughs> things don't have perfect access to things down there, but that's okay. This block over here is looking quite nice though. Look at that. Once money comes in, we could plaza it up again. Oil and olives looking good. So this is easy 5,000 people. Okay, good, good. These don't have basic educational facilities. All right, school can go down there as well. Food seems to be actually holding up. 5,000 people. There we go, there we go. Aries 106 says, imminent catastrophe. <laughs> but also check gods. Yeah, let's just double check. They're displeased, but nothing serious yet. A lazy name. Oh my god, I finally caught a stream. Hello, a lazy name. Thank you so much for joining. Um, needs more educational facilities. Let's just drop another school down, I guess. Getting these school kids to run the right way, a little tricky. Education, schools. They're just not running anywhere remotely correct. Oh, there we go, at least that school's sending a kid down that way. Now can we get a kid running this way? Yes, there we go. Get all these houses evolved. It is the end of the year, that's why our money's a little low. Um, but we are going to need more temples. Fifteen furniture. Go ahead. Alright, it's because they increased the amount of pottery we could sell, so... If it was up to me, I wouldn't sail this way. This city never buys anything or sells anything. We do actually need more pottery production, would you look at that? I guess it wouldn't hurt to just have some pottery production here, yeah? Raw materials, clay pits, uh, let's just have our own... Uh, there we go, uh, raw materials, clay pit. Clay pit, clay pit, workshop, pottery. Don't worry about that. There we go, and this can now stop getting pottery and just accept it. We'll produce our own pottery on this side so that this side can stockpile a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Because we could sell so much more pottery. <laughs> Evil scientist says, game logic. School kids run around in the streets, houses get fancier. Not always the case, not always the case. A lazy name says, I didn't realize there was an active Caesar 3 YouTuber until I saw one of your video uploads. Ah, yes, well, I am still an active Caesar 3 YouTuber. <laughs> uh, gods, they are probably gonna be unhappy very soon. How's our employment? 60 Gs. Um, you know what? Library. 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 Get three libraries down, that should help. This road, I think I'm gonna have to extend our road to the gods. Oh, we, we actually don't have money to do that right now. That's kind of bad. Prefecture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we're now producing our own pottery on this side. If I extend this road in a slightly different direction. How could I do this? Let's break that.
Ah, yes, that's that's actually fine. Let's do this, so we can do this, so we can do this. One, two. Loop the road background here, so we can go raw material, timber yard. Actually, let's go workshops first, furniture. One, two, three. Raw material, timber yard. So we can do that, so we can stop this from getting and just accepting. So this place can be self-sufficient as well on furniture. Might as well, right? Might as well. Oh, we have 17% unemployment though. <laughs> That's crazy. We're kind of low on cash, but so many people moved in. We're actually at 6,000 people. Um, this is surprisingly efficient, surprisingly efficient, um, but yeah, I guess we, we need to have a bit of a thing coming out here. How do I want to do this? This two types of food is going well, though. Are all these markets stocked up on the two types of food? They are. All right. Now, if I wanted to... Ah, there we go. There's some money. It's the new year, so things are going along a bit nicer now. Oil supply is doing okay. Olive supply doing okay. This food supply, I think we can change one of... a couple of these farms to wheat. Because vegetables seems to be pretty filled up. So let's swap those to wheat. Yeah. Now, um, we need to start getting some pottery here, yeah? <laughs> Let's set up a pottery industry right here. Uh, we're gonna need to clear off some of these trees. Let's go raw material, clay pits. Let's go one, two, three, four. Workshop pottery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This should produce enough pottery for whatever. Reduce the price of pottery. Ah, that's not good. I'm gonna need that. And you know what? Just for efficiency, I'm gonna use a gatehouse here. Prefecture. Engineer's post. And this is going to have to connect up to something here. I think I got to move this over. Have this road come down this way. Yeah, that looks okay. Let's shift the academy. Oh, there we go. We're under attack again. We should actually be able to deal with this fine. Okay, let's... I'm just gonna leave that academy there for now. Ah, oh, it's all the way over there. We gotta just bring all of our troops over. It's gonna take forever to do this manually. And this is in HD. Remember when you played this game back in the day and the screen space was really small? The amount of scrolling you had to do? Alright, there we go. Everyone going? Yeah. Let's go deal with them. Hopefully they don't run up this way before it's too late. Let's just put everyone straight in range. There we go. Okay, they're off. Are we gonna kill the rest of the sheep? I bet we're gonna kill the last four sheep here. Sorry, sheep, but they're just in the way. They're just in the way. Oh, wait, wait, they survive. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? The sheep survived, maybe on the way back, maybe on the way back. <laughs> okay, 
Yeah, we could have a furniture industry going along here. So actually, yeah, we don't need a gatehouse. We don't need a gatehouse. Yeah, it's, let's just have the road do that. It's a bit more grid-like, and we're not using gatehouses anywhere else anyway. Now let's... All right, we got we got plenty of troops. Let's let's kill that. Easy. I think we have twenty one percent unemployment. Jeez. Need money to to waste employment. I think. Okay. We could actually move these two buildings. Let's move that. Have this road do this, and you know what? I will have a gatehouse there. Should I have a gatehouse there? I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I have a gatehouse there? Actor colony. Gladiator school. We should have houses at the intersection. Let's clear this off. We're gonna need raw materials, timber yard. One, two, three, four. Workshop furniture. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight. Warehouse. Here and here. This one is for pottery. This one is for furniture. And you know what? Let's actually set it to not accepting first. We'll wait for these guys to pop out first. We'll wait for these guys to pop out. Now let's get rid of that. Let's just have... Prefecture Engineer's Post as a backup, make sure nothing burns down, okay. Once these houses move in, the employment should stabilize. Okay, okay, everything looks fine. What is that? Desirability, yeah. We need to plaza up this area. We need to plaza this up. Build a Senate, yes. Uh, let's go ahead and build some of the, like, something like that in the Senate. Just pop it down right there. Easy check for... Oh. The gods are unhappy. The gods are unhappy. I forgot about that. I, I thought I solved the problem, but I didn't solve the problem. Let's, let's just deal with that. We probably don't need that much. <laughs> I remember I was gonna put another set of temples here. This is gonna send me into debt, but it's fine. Yes, yes. And Venus. There we go. Okay. That's a small enough invasion. We have enough troops to, to risk it now. Oh, the sheep! The sheep are gonna get it this time! Oh, you couldn't have lasted forever, but there we go. One survivor. The sole survivor. Hmm. Mars Barbarians, you can go away. <laughs> Do I even want... Oh, yes. Of course that would happen. Jeez, I always let that happen! You know what? Let's speed this up. Uh, wolf. No. Shipyard. Let's get the ships back much faster, please. <laughs> all my fishing boats, all of them. Uh, that's that's not good. That's actually kind of risky. I'm I'm not used to entirely relying on fishing like that, and then Neptune just destroying everything. Venus cast a black mood of despair. Yeah, okay, that's that's fine. Uh, let's accept pottery. Yeah, let's get that going. 
I forgot the gods, okay? Forgot the gods. All these temples are working. It's because we're at 7,000 people. I didn't realize we hit 7,000 people. Okay, what I need to do is I need to make some room here. Can I clear off a bit of space here? Clear off these trees. I have a warehouse. Right here. Mercury is unhappy. You know what? Let's hold a small festival to Mercury to keep people happy. Let's extend this road a little bit. Let's accept nothing here. Oh, we, we don't even have the trade route open for marble. I'm gonna need to import some marble because I'm, I'm just... I can't deal with this. 600 to open trade route. Yes, let's visit advisor. Let's import some marble to get that going, shall we? There we go. Um... We're getting ships as fast as we can here. Well, not really as fast as we can, but... All right, let's swap this out for a shipyard as well. Get that going as much as possible because this area has run out of food. So this market still has some food stockpiled, but... <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. Small festival to Mercury. I should make some wine to offset. Yeah, I probably should, right? Our gladiators angry about risking the lives for the mere amusement of others have rebelled against their fate? Use prefects to control them. Oh, right, I forgot about this. I forgot about this. The gladiators rebel. Okay. But where are they? I don't... Where are they? I guess just send troops everywhere? Uh, I can't see where the gladiators are. Um... Risks? Problems? It doesn't really show... I can't see them! Where are they? Okay, there's... There are some people dying here and there. Why are these... Some entertainment but not enough? Okay. Uh, it's so hard to see what's going on. We do have a lot of prefectures, though. Maybe if I go... Ah, there we go. Enemy. Oh, jeez. We can see where the prefectures are fighting gladiators. Okay, okay. Uh, they destroyed my senate. Oh, come on, of all the buildings. So there's actually a different model here. These are like the rebel- like these gladiators as well are fighting. Okay, we're just positioning troops all over the place. I don't know where else we should put them. I guess we should just throw them around here and there. Okay. And we need another amphitheater here. That's kind of bad. Wait. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, jeez. Fix your aqueduct. Yes, please. Okay, we got it. We got it. It wasn't an amphitheater problem. It was an aqueduct problem. Jeez. This is not good. This is not good. Aqueduct. Aqueduct. Hail, our brave prefects have won the day. The rebellious gladiators had enough of their struggle against us and agreed to return to normal work. It seems they have missed the thrill of fighting lions. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Too close to enemy troops? Come on! Aqueduct. It still says too close to enemy troops. There we go. There we go. There we go. Anything else? No. Okay. It wasn't the worst it could have been. <laughs> Everyone returned to fort. Okay. Okay. Everything going wrong at the same time? Yeah. That, that's... it's... yeah. It's a little tricky. 
Now, we, we just need another entertainment amphitheater. Yeah, there's just... The gladiators aren't walking down this area properly. How could I make this work a bit better? I mean, basically, we need another amphitheater. I guess here. Right? And if there is an overflow of clay, we'll do that. Okay. Okay. We're taxing... We can raise taxes a little bit. 18% unemployment. Not the best. Not the best. All of these houses have evolved, thanks to pottery. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we probably should start producing some wine and selling, right? Is it a sea trade route, though? Wine is a sea trade route. Which makes it tricky to deal with. Alright, there we go. Uh, we need to replace these again with wharfs. There we go. We gotta replace this with a wharf as well. There we go. Okay, get our food supply back up. We are selling all of our pottery. That's filled up. Okay, there's no point setting a limit on it now, because we're just... We just have plenty of pottery everywhere. Okay, okay. So that looks okay. All of this is looking okay. Foods... This is surprisingly stable. <laughs> this is surprisingly stable. Um, okay, I think... I think we have solved the problems. We can import more fruits. Okay, okay. So we're up to 7,000 people. 7,000 people. Surprisingly, that's actually, it's working out. Okay, the unemployment issue I have to deal with. I have to deal with it. How are the gods feeling, by the way? Displeased, charmed, displeased. Okay. Are we importing marble? We are import. Oh, we have 10. Okay, fantastic. Let's stop importing it. And now we can spam some oracles around. Yeah, oracle. I remember I wanted some oracles here. Oracle. Let's put an oracle there. Anywhere else? Ah, oh, ten wine. It's forcing me to make wine. <laughs> okay. Let's just... Put an oracle there. Okay. That's a little expensive, but that's fine. We gotta produce wine, then. Um, I guess I just produce wine over here, and... To get wine down to my trading area, it's gonna be a bit of a pain, right? Like, maybe if I set this to... Getting wine, we could sell a little bit of it. But it's, it's just such a hassle, selling wine. But yeah, I think I need to up my pottery production rate. Actually, we're, we're doing okay on pottery production. Now that we're not getting pottery, we're actually producing enough. Okay, so we need to get wine going. Oh, this is not accepting furniture yet. I really shouldn't evolve anything yet. Alright, we've waited for some money to come in. Let's, uh... Set up the wine industry here. This. Here. Okay, let's slow this down to get this right. Uh, farms. Vines. Like that. Get some houses. Prefecture. Actually, it should be 
here. Workshops. Why? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With a warehouse. Right there. For why? There we go. Well, we go. <laughs> there we go. Wine industry setup. That garden is on top of the well, isn't it? That looks weird. Let's just not have a garden there. Okay. Wine industry will be set up soon enough. Fantastic. How is our doctor coverage, by the way? I never actually looked. Health clinics. Yeah, one doctor is fine. I actually don't want super high health because I want old people to die. <laughs> don't take that out of context. Gamerzak wants old people to die, 2017. All right, let's speed things up. Our population... I was not expecting population to shoot up this high. Uh, let's get our Senate back down. Yeah, Senate. You know what? And let's drop another uh, academy. Because we can. Academies take up 30 people. 19% unemployment. We gotta deal with that. Three academies. There we go. People disgruntled. Drop taxes, I guess. Okay. That should help deal with unemployment a little bit. Ah, uh, we need to get it down. That's why people are unhappy. Think money grows on trees. No, well, technically they do. Olives grows on trees, and we sell olives, so therefore money grows on trees. We completely overproduced olives there and oil. Food is surprisingly stable here. Has food returned to normal in these other areas? It's struggling a little bit, but I think it should be okay. Uh, maybe not, but we'll, we'll find out soon. Why did marble go into here? Ah, oh, right, I forgot. Let's stop accepting all of this stuff. Ah! Uh. Other warehouses? Yeah. So I actually want to set here to getting pottery, to bring more pottery over to here. That would actually probably solve my pottery issue, selling pottery out of here. Yeah? Okay. But yeah, the grid, look how much this looks like an actual city on the map. We need a bit more fish here though. Could I... Do I need this reservoir? I don't, right? This needs to be shifted over by one. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll fix that in a bit. We need more fishing going on on this side. So I need to extend this road out here. Extend this. Let's clear off this road. We're gonna get more fishing going. There we go. Uh, whoa. We'll start with that. How do I... Uh, you can't really do a grid block on a coast like this. Unless I do... I don't use those tiles. And instead... I have this road extend like that, use these tiles instead. Not as efficient, but... Like that. Just have houses there. Okay, that should solve the food problem in this block. 
Yeah. That should do it. That should do it. Time for a Colosseum? I'm not sure. We don't have the money for Colosseum. I, I'm gonna need a Colosseum over here, though. Um, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. Unemployment is 12%. Let's see. Colosseum. Can I fit one here? I could fit one there. But I will need to maybe... Okay, money has come in. Let's replace these two with that. Let's replace that. Let's put a Colosseum down here. Let's put amphitheaters here and here. And we're going to need some barbers here at some point. So let's go ahead and put a barber down there. Uh, we're going to need maybe a barber here and here. What should I remove from this side? I guess that academy. The barber there. Okay. That'll have to do. So Colosseum's there. Let's go ahead and put down a not a a lion house right there. And we're gonna give Colosseum access to this side. Ah, we've got ten wine. Fantastic. The wine production is actually going along as planned. Very good. So, Colosseum is going to be coming down, and... <laughs> uh, more academies? More academies. Before we evolve this housing area even further with furniture. It's tough, it's tough. Alright, let's, let's just set this to accepting furniture. Okay. There's the working Colosseum. Ah, we actually got it working. And you know what? An oracle can go right there. And all these oracles should be keeping the gods happy now. Yes, fantastic. We do have this pathway to the gods here, but... Well, now we have the opportunity. I'm gonna plaza that. <laughs> okay, this whole area needs to be plazaed up though. 12% unemployment. This is taking 120. Okay, I think with all this unemployment, we gotta start working on our luxury palaces. All the resources we need are now on the map. Where should I put luxury palaces? I guess, uh... Hmm. Where should we put luxury palaces? It's a supply of oil, right. I don't know where luxury palaces should go. Maybe back here? Maybe back here? In the center of the map? I don't know, it's a bit crowded if I try to make it work over here. Over here seems pretty easy, right? We can easily get the resources we need from here. Or from here, rather. Okay. Luxury palaces can go down here. And we're gonna uh, just cut the forest like this. We're gonna need one, two, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here. That's fine. One, two, three, four. The gap. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The gap. One, two, three, four. This will be our luxury palace block. We can go one, two, three, four. And we're just gonna need... Prefecture. Engineer's post. And that's gonna be good. Um... What's the range on this? One, two, three. Three, is it? If that's there. 
Ah, oh, clay pit. That's fine. No material, clay pit. There we go. Ah. Oh. Rubble counts as a road, huh? I didn't know that. Alright, well, that's gonna be our luxury palace block. Um, we'll need to, like, extend this grid out like this, I think. Alright, alright. We just need, like, a row of services like this, I think. But that's not very grid-like. Let's go one, two, three, four... That's more grid-like, yeah? Let's... Double up on these as well, just to make sure everything's fine. Should probably swap these. Uh, Prefecture. Engineer's post. Okay, that's gonna be our Luxury Palace block. Everything looks good. Uh, we are still short on money because we're not really selling... Oh look, wheat is struggling to keep up with supply here. No health provisions. Oh, we don't have... We need a clinic down this side. Right. Doctor. There you go. Okay. All of this is working. These are all medium insulates. They don't have uh, oil right now. But in terms of food, they are being fed two types of food. If you see here, they all have vegetables and wheat. Uh, wheat is struggling a little bit. Perhaps I do need to swap one more farm over for wheat. Farm, wheat... Because wheat is the priority food, so we've got to be careful with that. Our wine supply is going, oil supply is going. Unemployment is still a bit of an issue here. But, uh, people are very pleased with you. All right, let's raise taxes then. All right. And generally, we're actually almost at 8,000 people. Once we get the luxury palaces down, it's going to be fine. Selling pottery. It is February now, so I think we, we just went into debt because, yeah... Can you sell a bit more? There we go. Reset the debt anniversary. Fantastic. All right, and that should be the end of part two. All of this looks really nice. Alert VS says Zack is in turbo mode today. Yeah, <laughs> I was a bit... getting to 10,000 people. I don't want to waste too much time, but uh, listen to Sajuk. Near your olives and wine producing area, you can have some food farms here as well. I, well yeah, I could totally have food farms here. Oh right, the Luxury Palace block is nowhere near the food supply. Good point. We'll figure that out next time. <laughs> I forgot about food supply. We gotta have it like over here or... Yeah, I, I think Luxury Palace block right here. Yeah, I think that, that would make more sense. We're actually at 8,000 people. Look at that. Okay, we'll figure that out next time. Anyway, that's going to be the end of part two. We've expanded our city, established our city. We're keeping out of debt for now. And the next part will be for luxury palaces. All right, that's going to be the end of part two for Valencia. If you click the button on the screen right now, it'll take you to part three, where we're going to be doing luxury palaces before we win this map. And we're very close approaching 10,000 people. All right, so that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.